Whatever you choose to call it, Palestine, the Palestinian territories, Holy Land, the West Bank, this ancient land remains one of the most fascinating and controversial places on the planet. On this nine day trip, and in contrast to many other trips in the region, our aim is to travel predominantly on foot with neither a political nor religious agenda, but instead with the aim of gaining an insight into the everyday lives and rich culture of the Palestinian people and experiencing a rarely seen side of the Middle East. My name is Mark Liedemann. I run the group tours department at Wild Frontiers and in this video, I'm going to explain a little bit more about our wild walk in Palestine. After transferring from Tel Aviv airport, the tour starts in the old city of Nablus with its medieval souk, and then travels slowly south as we walk from village to village, staying mainly with local families. From the fertile valleys of ancient Sumeria, we then skirt along the edge of the Rift Valley and head down below sea level to the shores of the Dead Sea, before finally making our way through the Judean desert and onto Bethlehem and finally Jerusalem. For anyone that enjoys really getting below the surface of a country, this must rank as one of the very best tours that we offer. Not only do we get to walk and talk with a whole range of Palestinians, all eager to share their stories, but by actually staying in some of their homes, we also get the chance to experience a little of their daily life and their wonderful food. This is not a trip for those looking to lose weight. But in addition, for a trip which actually covers only a relatively small distance, the variety of the scenery and the sights is quite astounding. On one day, we might find ourselves wandering through olive groves and deserted Roman hilltop towns, and then having lunch with some refugees. And on another, we might pass Byzantine era churches in a desert wadi before having dinner with some Bedouin in their camp. This is not a major trekking trip, but on most days, there'll be at least three to four hours of walking. And in fact, many of the paths we take form part of the so-called Abraham Trail, which National Geographic in 2014 voted as one of the world's best new walks. But as with all our wild walks, there is a lot more to this trip than just walking. And whether it's eating knafe, which is a, a baked cheese dessert drenched in syrup from a street seller in Nablusuk, or sampling a beer from Palestine's only microbrewery in Paibeh, or walking the millennia-old streets of Jerusalem's old city, this trip is guaranteed to leave you with many lifelong memories. Despite having led trips all over the world, this trip remains one of my all-time favorites, and I would unreservedly recommend the Wild Walk in Palestine to anyone looking for something which offers a glimpse into this rarely visited and rarely understood, yet utterly welcoming and eternally fascinating part of the world.